Okay, so we'll get started. My name is Debbie. Uh, I was born in Toronto, but I grew up in Brampton. So I was born in a devout Baptist family. Um, we grew up going to church every Sunday. I was always involved in youth group and youth ministry and weekly Bible studies. Um, but like what happens to a lot of young adults, by the time that I went to university, I started to drift away from God. Uh, and I experienced a lot of hardships while I was in university and these things pushed me even further from God and made me really question whether Christianity was the true religion, whether Jesus Christ really was who he said he was. And by the time I graduated university, I pretty much stopped. I still remember one day Googling, I no longer believe in Christianity, what should I do? And I remember when I admitted this to myself, I felt really terrified and I didn't want to tell anyone. I had gone through a lot of trials in my life and I was experiencing a lot of mental health issues. Um, I was trying to find healing through therapy and um, I guess the advice that my therapist would give me, so things like do more yoga, journal more, um, breathing exercises, those sorts of things, exercise. And it got so bad to the point where um, I was having panic attacks on an almost weekly basis. And then at one point I finally went on my knees and I prayed to God for the first time in years. I don't remember the last time I prayed. I uh, prayed to Him and my simple prayer was, God help me because I can't do this anymore. Uh, and then at that moment, I actually felt this sense of of relief and and it might sound crazy but I, I felt like God actually appeared to me in, in a vision and he told me to open up the Bible and read the story of the Samaritan woman at the well and so I started to read the story and I looked up at Jesus and I said I think this is me and he told me yes and I love you and from that moment on I told Jesus that I would follow him. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting emotional. Um, from that moment on, I told I told him that I would follow him and give my life and give my life to him. Uh, the next few days, I was filled with this sickening joy. I don't know what else how else to describe it. Um, and I was telling all my family and friends that Jesus really saves if we just trust in him and if we just believe in him. Um, and I started praying and reading the Bible. And um, after a few weeks of this, I actually felt the Holy Spirit tell me, have you ever considered Catholicism? Um, so I remember sitting at my computer googling uh, Catholic Church young adults and St. Mary's was the first link that popped up um, and then I was able to get into contact with Father Ken and he told me that I should join RCIA so I can learn more about the Catholic faith uh, and so that's what I did and by June of 2021 I was confirmed into the Catholic Church. Uh, yeah, I, I loved RCIA here at, at St. Mary's. But I really appreciate how I was able to learn about um, the basics of the Catholic faith, about the sacraments, and what it, what it really means to be a Catholic. And I like how, um, how seriously St. Mary, St. Mary's takes this. Um, they don't want you to just become a Catholic because of maybe pressure from, I don't know, family or tradition or from a spouse or whatever the reason. Um, they want you to become Catholic because you really understand the demands of the faith um, and really understand what you're getting yourself into before you make that decision um, to join the church. My prayer was God help me because I can't do it anymore. And that was from the heart. So I think just whatever, Whatever you're feeling, you should offer that up to God. We shouldn't hide things from Him because uh, He sees everything. And it's important to just be honest with Him. And if you're doubting if, if He exists or if the Catholic faith is true, then 
and be honest with him and tell him that and he will answer you. It, it says that in the Gospels, like seek and you will find, knock and it will be open. Uh, and so if you do that with God, he will answer you. You can, can trust me on that.